Hi guys, thanks for viewing. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for being here because today is Christmas. I hope that you've all had a wonderful, wonderful day. But some of you might be thinking, uh, uh, no, I didn't. Some might be thinking, oh my God, no, I don't enjoy it. Some of you might be thinking, uh oh, wow, what's just happened then? Um, because what happens is at Christmas, generally, I'm not just singling out anyone here, but generally at Christmas, our stress levels increase. So today's video is called How Stress Increases at Christmas. Now you may want to come back in six months and watch this again because it may make sense with other things that are going on in your life. So please know that this is just not a Christmas video. It's about how stress increases and what we have to do to eliminate it and to stop it occurring. And I'm also going to tell about why it's important not to stress. Okay, so let's go there. When I was researching this video, I was looking at the contributing factors as to what causes stress, whether it be physical or mental stress that we actually go through. We all have situations in our lives where we go to work and there's a huge workload that we're trying to struggle to keep up with. Okay. So it could be work related while we get stressed. Then we've got financial situations that arise where we've got bills that amount to this much, but we're only bringing in this much. So we try to make ends meet with the difference. Okay. So we stress over financial obligations. Then we also have our friends and family in the mix about their opinions based on our opinions and our opinions based on their opinions. And oh my gosh, we all know how family and friends work, right? So there we go with that obligation of family and friends. Then we've got societal factors in, in there as well. Stress can be caused by our neighbors. Stress can be caused by our houses, whether it needs working done like plumbing or electrical problems. It could also be that we don't like the floor plan or where our furniture fits in that house. We also look at contributing factors in the society like schools, churches, shopping centers, um, places of recreation that we go to. Is it too far to travel to that place? So it causes a stress on our body because we feel obliged that we always have to go there, etc. Okay. So there's a lot of reasons through society that we can get stressed. Okay. But when I was researching these factors, one word kept popping out at me. And that word was obligations. We put so much onus on looking out and performing for other people or entities like our business or school or church or even our shopping centers. Obligations. Okay. What obligations are is actually control. Wow, I just got the heart of it. See how we analyze it? We say, oh, we're stressed because I've got to go and see that friend at Christmas who I don't really like her that much, but um, I've got to go and see her at Christmas. To, I've got to do the right thing. Okay, that's an example. So we have that obligation to see that person who we'd rather not see. And then what happens is that comes into our control, okay, where either they are trying to control us by saying, oh, you've got to come, I'm having a party, or it's our control that we put onto ourselves, creating that stress on our own heads, or should I say that weight that we get on our shoulders, okay? <clears throat> so we have all these external factors that creates stress through that obligation and then that control, okay? But what about the obligations that we put onto ourselves? <whistles> I've just gone deep and I hope that you understand what I'm here about to say. It's Christmas today. What obligations do you put on yourself? Wow, that's a big one because um, Christmas time is where people try to be giving. They want to catch up with those friends. They want to see those family members. They have to buy the best presents for their kids, blah, 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 right? 
So we have to then justify that within ourselves, our own ego, as to why we did that, okay? You may have a financial bill due in mid-January, but you think, oh no, my son needs this new thing, which is $100 more than what you really could have afforded. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll make that bill payment when it's due somehow. So that causes us that stress, okay? So one thing I do want to give you all today is a little gift. And I want to remind you all that Christmas is not about what we do for others. Christmas comes from within us. It is what we do for ourselves. It's those obligations that we put onto ourselves. Because, <clears throat> you know, I've spoken to a few friends today and they're all running around here, they're cooking, seeing family members, they're driving <clears throat> 100 kilometers to see another family member, going here, going there. They get home tonight and they're absolutely shattered, tired. They wake up tomorrow like a hangover where they think, oh my God, I need a holiday to get over this season. And it's only one day. Christmas is only one day. So when we look at our obligations that we put on ourselves, that's where we ask ourselves, do I really need to see that person on that one day? Can I go and see them next week? Can I, should have I gone and seen them last week? Could have I just simply rung? Or could have I simply walked away and done nothing? Okay? Because when we talk about obligations, which is control, a lot of people at this time of year like to control others. They put overly, overly excessive demands on people. Oh, you've got to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. You've got to stay here until 2 p.m. And you're thinking, well, I would have liked to have gone and seen my friend, but she's only there until lunchtime because she's going over to see her own family. So that's why we get stressed, because of other people trying to control us. And the big message for today, guys, is we don't have to listen and act, or should I say react, to other people's demands, obligations, and ultimately their control. Because today when I researched what is stress, <coughs> The answer is, it is a natural reaction to any negative problem put on it. So let's just break that down. Stress comes as a natural reaction to any negative problem that we put on it. So we can actually create that stress with ourselves. Okay, I've got to be at my grandmother's at eight. I've got to have a quick breakfast. I've got to be over at this friend's place by 10. Then I've got to get over there to do that. Then I've got to go there and do that. Then I've got to get home, cook my own dinner for the kids. Then I've got to go out. Oh my God, I forgot to see that friend. I've got to ring them quickly as well. <clears throat> we all want to be caring people at Christmas. But just remember, guys, heaven does not operate on time. If these people genuinely loved you, if these people genuinely cared, they would not mind if you don't see them within this 24-hour period that we call Christmas, okay? So it's okay to take that step back and analyze what is good for me today. What's the obligation that I'm going to put on me today? And it's not selfish when we start doing self-care. And I must say that again because it's so imperative. It is never selfish to do self-care. Looking after ourselves first. Okay? <clears throat> so if you do have a big, big day at Christmas, sit there and just think, could have it been better for me knowing I've got to go and do six 12-hour shifts in a row next week? 
Would have it been better for me to actually take a day where I just had a bubble bath and had a sleep? <clears throat> Could have it been easier for me to just ring these people and say, hey, I'm sorry I can't come. I must look after me first. Because if those people have an issue with that, that is their issue. Okay? It's their issue, not yours. Okay? So when it comes time for Christmas, just remember, it is only a natural reaction why we get stressed. We are reacting to the obligations and the control that others put onto us as well as what we put onto ourselves as well. Okay? Now, I want to show you what I'm wearing today because this is my Christmas outfit. It is actually a nighty. What I'm wearing today, I bought this a few years ago and I always wear it on Christmas. And I wear it every other day when I'm going to give myself a little pep talk as well. Okay? It actually says, <clears throat> I'm the gift that keeps on um, that keeps on giving. I'm the gift gift that keeps on giving so <clears throat> what can we use this saying that's on this night this is a nighty by the way but I wear it around the house because I love it because it's red red's my favorite color okay so what does this mean I, I saw this and I thought wow that's about me being the gift to myself that keeps on giving this is me looking after me, all that self-care, self-respect, self-honesty, self-appreciation, and most of all, self-love. So let's just go through a couple of those. Today, what am I doing in my self-care? Self-respect. <clears throat> That's me identifying that I've set boundaries and rules with other people. Sorry, I can't see you at 10 o'clock. I know that's when you're sitting down to dinner, but I can't see you then because I'm doing this instead. Respect. Self-appreciation. I am so proud of myself because I've now learnt to stand up to these other obligations, which is control. And I'm now appreciating in myself and I'm being grateful within myself that I'm doing what's best for me today. Okay. Self-honesty is, is realizing what causes that stress. Oh my God, I, 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 I didn't realize I was getting stressed because of the bills or work or my family or my friends or my neighbors or the fact that my plumbing just blew up and now I've got water all through the house. Okay, so it's openly being honest with yourself and saying, oh my God, this is the drama that's being created because stress usually gets created because of drama so have a look at those people in your household look at the people that you have as family and friends look at your neighbors look at your co-workers look at your even the checkout lady or the self-serve lady at your grocery store are they causing that stress Just analyze it and say you know what Whenever I'm around that person, I always get icky feelings. I always feel like nauseous because stress does come out in physical sicknesses as well as mental, okay? So the last one of those, self-love. How much do I love myself when I put on my nighty, walking around my house with no shoes on and I sit there and I think, you know what, Linda? You are doing what you love. Love. Do what you love. Unconditional love comes when we understand everything else in our lives that's going on. Unconditional love comes from being patient and just allowing others to do what they want where we don't have to retaliate, we don't have to hold a grudge, we don't have to be regretful, we don't have to be retributional and do um, revenge actions. We're unconditional, where we can just say, you know what, 
I appreciate you for doing what you're doing. Thank you so much, appreciation and grace. But my boundary today is I've got to look after me first. Wow. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Okay. So just remember, guys, stress comes from obligations, which is coming from control. So you've got to sit there and work out who is the controller. Is it that someone else is telling you, hey, Linda, you've got to be here at that time. You've got to do that. You've got to do that like a boss would do, right? Your boss would do that. Hey, Linda, go and do that report. Linda, type up that email. Linda, get that um, stuff done. Load those trucks or whatever else you've got to do in your job. So then you can say, okay, that's my boss, but it's part of his job to make me do that. So it's actually my job that's causing me the stress because my job would be to do what he's telling me to do. So then you think, well, how much do I want this job? Because that's the self-care that we do, okay? And there's one other thing that I want to add here. Passion. Do what you're passionate about at Christmas. And Christmas doesn't have to be for 24 hours, one time of, year, of the year. Do what you're passionate about. If you're a giving person, like my nighty says, I'm the gift that keeps on giving, be that person 24-7 every day of the year. It doesn't matter to have that obligation and that control to do it just at Christmas time. Okay? It's okay to say to someone, you know what? I'm busy today. I love you. I appreciate you. I respect you. And I'm so grateful that you're with me. But do you mind if I don't see you till tomorrow? And if that person has an issue, then that person has to deal with their own issue. It's not yours. Okay? So this is a time for reflection as well. At Christmas time, who are you? Ask yourself that question. Who am I at Christmas? What do I demonstrate? Am I the one running around after all these other people? Or am I the one controlling everybody else and making them be here at 10 o'clock and they've got to do that? Are you like directing the whole day? Because then that would be giving you the stress if it didn't go the way that you wanted it to, right? So either way of those two options, just sit back and breathe. And you'll find that you are healthier, both physically and mentally. Because stress can come in a lot of different ways. One, physical, your hair can fall out. Your skin goes yucky. Okay. You can get sore arms, legs, muscle aches, sore legs and thighs and feet. People's feet swell when they're stressed. Okay. But then look at internally. Our organs are also affected. So people get um, heart conditions, they get strokes, they can have indigestion or problems where they're constipated because they are so stressed over everything, they don't want to eat. They can also have other liver and kidney problems as well can arise, okay? But most of all, mental issues do arise where people get depressed. And you've got to remember here, guys, depression is based on past reactions, big one there depression comes from having regrets over past judgments decisions or opinions of others okay we feel unworthy now because two years ago five years ago ten years ago something happened to make us feel that way where we're still hanging on to it today so today guys if there's a gift that i want to give all of you which i do want to give you hello because i love every one of you just sit there and analyze what happened today. Okay, at eight o'clock this morning, I had to be around at my parents' house. Who decided that? Who invited who? Who had the control? Then at 10 o'clock, I had to be there. 11 o'clock, I had to be there. 12 o'clock, I had to see that friend who I don't really want to see. Who dictated it? Who controlled the situation? Okay. Work it out because the biggest gift that we can ever give to ourselves 
is when we release all that and we say, you know what? I didn't realize I was like that. I didn't realize I was the one controlling all my friends saying, you've got to be here at this time, come over for dinner. You might have, um, you might realize that there's a family member who's the controller. Oh my God, every year I've got to be there at three o'clock for afternoon dinner. Okay. So you sit there and you analyze it and you think, did this event cause me stress? And if the answer is yes, and you say, yeah, every year this does it to me, it's 20 years now, then that's when you can say, right, the biggest gift today that I'm going to give myself is to say no more. It's okay to say, sorry, but I'm not doing that. Because the biggest gift that we should ever give to anybody is the gift that we give to ourselves. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm sitting here in my favorite red nighty, and I'll show you as again, I'm the gift that keeps on giving. I wear it every year, and I've had this now for about six years. I'm sitting here with no shoes on. I'm happy. My stress levels are zero. It's Christmas day. My stress levels are zero and every family or friend or church, congregation, other community places that I could have gone today, neighbours or anywhere else I could have gone today, ultimately it was all my choice because the only obligation that I have on Christmas is the one that I put on myself something to think about so on behalf of myself <clears throat> my lovely daughter I hope that every single one of you has the most perfect day and the only way we can ever have a perfect day is to create it within ourselves peace and light as always to every one of you guys I do hope that you've had the most blessed, loving day. Okay. My email's in the bottom if you do want to talk to me. I'll put it in the comments below the description. If you do want to share this to anyone else and say, hey, um, I'm going to forward this email, um, this video over to a friend of mine. She's a bit of a control freak. Do it. I don't mind. Okay. All right. So on that note, I hope you all have a great day. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.